Welcome Sagittarius. We're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with at the moment using the Starseed Oracle, Animal Tarot Cards and Divine Directions. Okie dokie, let's have a look here. Okay, so Sagittarius, let's start with the Starseed Oracle. We will be getting one card for you and then not two cards, Sagittarius, you're doing your thing again. One card for Sagittarius, please. And then after that, we will be, um, once we've been through, we'll read it from the book. Two cards again. We just want one. Two. <laughs> one. One card for Sagittarius, please. Wow. I'm going to take this one because it landed right up. Called right way up. Okay. Soul gifts and training. It's time to step up. Walk through that door, Sagittarius. Walk through through that door right okay so let's have a look three cards for called for Sagittarius please it's really interesting because I'm seeing some ancient pictures on the walls here okay we have flow we have weight and we have decide alrighty okay so the first card flow you need more flexibility in your life. Allow yourself to go with the flow. See, I wonder if you're sticking to one thing because you thought that was your path and maybe it's not. And maybe for some of you, you're not even happy in what you're doing, but because it's like, well, this is what I've chosen, so this is what I'm doing. End of story. You're not open to anything else. Right? So it's important for you to go with the flow. Things could also be changing in your life. And maybe for some of you, you're not very happy about that. But it could be exactly what you need. Okay, tell me more about flow for Sagittarius, please. No. Tell me more about flow. Okay. Here we go. It's really funny. I'm stacking all the boxes and the cards in one pile. I wonder if that's something in that for you. Maybe there's something you're building or collecting or gathering. Okay, Queen of Autumn. Thoughtful, caring, creative and ingenious. See, see now, what I'm always drawn to in this card is the two little bunny rabbits here. One's hiding and it looks like it's afraid. And this one's here, this one here is exposed and it's got the courage. And I just wonder if for some of you you're either one or the other or you're flitting back between the two. Not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, only you'll know that. But the queen here, she stands knowing. What needs to be done knowing that she'll have an understanding of when the right time to move is and she doesn't move any sooner she's staying aware because she knows what she needs to be looking out for in order to protect her babies and i feel like for you it's almost like there's this need to take on that energy to kind of go, okay, I'll know when the right time to move is. For some of you, you're just going, I'm not moving. Well, I'll move when I want. <laughs> you know, it's, it's this, this stubborn energy. 
that I feel needs to be shifted here, okay? Um, there's this awakening here, seeing things from a different perspective, trying different things, okay? And with this soul gifts and training, maybe this is a way for you to discover what those different things are so that you can work out what exactly it is. Because I tell you what, when you try something and it is your, your gift or it is what you are meant to be doing, you're going to have no question. You're going to have no question at all. It is going to sing to your soul. And so, yeah. Okay, so we have the six of spring seed. This is about success. And when you're doing what it is that you're here to do, and when you're training in what it is that you are meant to be training in, you're going to have success. There's no doubt about that. It's just a given that that is going to happen, right? Gathering everything that you need to build your empire. You're going to make it. You're going to make it, but it's a matter of shifting out of this energy, of this stuff and energy here, Sagittarius. Okay, six of autumn. See, this is about you getting everything into balance, paying off debt, okay, um, making sure that you are clearing everything that is not needed in your life in order for you to proceed forward, okay. We also have the world here. This is that this is this is you sitting on your throne in a sense but this is um i feel like see with the emperor here and the world right and we have the queen of autumn this is way more than just say like building something for yourself this is you being the top on the top of the top of the top this is what you have the ability to do but there's some things that need to shift in your life in order for you to flow. It's like it's like a river and there's a dam blocking the flow of the water. And it's kind of like I feel like there's some blockages there for you or some of that stubbornness is stopping you from flowing through life. And it's a matter of getting those out the way. Stepping out of your ego and just letting it flow. Okay, wait. Take time to think on the matter at hand. Don't be tempted to rush. Yeah, you see? And this is the thing. This is what the Queen of Autumn, the Emperor, right? This is what they do. They know. They know when the best time to move, to take action is. They don't do it any sooner or any less, in any less time. Okay, so this is also something that's really important for you. And I feel as though when you tap into... Um, your intuition and your natural instincts, you'll know when that is, okay? And this is about this, it's time to step up. You'll know when the best time is for that, to walk through that door, right? Okay. We have the three of autumn here, and um, and I, th this is about you building something that is worthy of um, top price, yeah. And as you go along the journey of building that, there's going to be all these successes along the way, right? Like the six of spring here. So it's important, really important, to celebrate these successes. Just be mindful about not becoming cocky about it because you're still not at the at the 10 okay but this is also about being seen and acknowledged for the work that you are doing and being rewarded for that so make sure that you embrace that and continue along that path okay the king of summer here you see the king of summer he knows how to do what he needs to do in order to build his um his home for his family, right? He knows exactly what he's up to. He knows again, just like the just like the mama rabbit, right? He knows what to look out for, what the warning signs are. He's very in tune with all that stuff. Okay, so he wears his crown and he owns it. And this is something that you need to do. There's this um, the Prince of Winter, and with this weight here, this is about not rushing in too soon. 
okay be very mindful of that because as soon as you discover what it is that maybe is your gift or the doors open for you you may be tempted to go rushing through and go rushing in but it's important to take your time step by step by step okay because the lessons are important and each step is a lesson so this is important for you to make sure you're aware of each um each I want to say step but it's a bit more than that each chapter each chapter in this journey because it's kind of like this journey is a book it, it actually all these little chapters or all these little lessons and steps they actually end up making this entire book and um yeah I think it's very, very necessary for you to be conscious of this. Okay, we've got the three of spring here. This is the sea turtle. See, the turtle goes at its own pace, right? If it needs to go fast, it goes fast. But more than often, it goes at a turtle's pace. And that's what you need to do. Okay, interesting, because this has come up next to this rushing, and this is saying it may even feel like turtle's pace to you when you want to rush in, because you have this thing of like, come on, let's go, let's go already. And so it feels like even slower, because you have the desire to go full steam ahead. So be patient. This is about practicing patience as well. Okay, the four of autumn, and this is why the patience is needed. Because you need to gather what it is that you need to gather in order to sustain you through the times that you're not going to have what it is that you have now. And that could be energy-wise. There's going to be times where you don't have the energy to rush full steam ahead. So you need to take it at a pace that is manageable for you. So you don't burn out. Okay? Decide. It's time for you to make a decision. Call upon your spirit guides for help. Okay, so that's that's interesting. Interesting. And this could this could be it. Once you do make that decision, you're gonna to want to go fast. But Sagittarius, you need to take your time. Yeah, you definitely need to take your time. Okay, tell me more about this. Okay. Okay, so we have the two of summer here. Look at this beautiful two lovebirds sitting there, right? I adore this. I adore this for you. What was the next one? This the next one was learning. Okay, so this could be very well about a relationship for some of you. Um, this could be about you taking the time to learn about one another, okay. There's this desire to go rushing full steam ahead, but learning needs to be done. Even if it's not a relationship, it could be something that you're incredibly passionate about because this is your passion. This is what you've come to do, right? And um, there's a lot to learn. There is a lot to learn, whatever your circumstances. So ensure that you are doing what you need, okay? Yes, because... There's a lot of differences here. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of need to understand the differences, so that in times of weakness, things are not ruined, and that's why it's important to take your time, and that may take strength. To go slow. But it's necessary for you to have what it is that you want at the end of the day. Because good things do take time. Because they need work. They need nurturing. You need to make sure that you're actually putting the effort in to honour. To honour whatever it is that is there for you. Okay? By taking the time. To let things transpire naturally and authentically. 
okay Sagittarius this is very 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 important okay so we're going to read this here called where are we here it is Sagittarius soul gifts and training it's time to step up you came to earth with a double mission to grow as a soul and to bring about a shift in consciousness the best way to fulfill these personal and collective purpose, purpose sorry purposes is to trust what it is that your soul is calling you towards for it is encoded within the most direct path forward your soul has many unique gifts that came, it came here to share some you may already be aware of others you're just beginning to uncover you're being called to remember that your soul intelligently chose the perfect conditions to carry out your soul's mission and share your soul's gifts if you're being called toward a creative project a passion or an adventure this card is your confirmation that you are facing the right way and that this moment right here is destined. If you're feeling underprepared or thinking, who am I to do that? This card is guiding you to step up and leap. And consider perhaps that your soul has been training for this moment right here for lifetimes. Okay, Sagittarius, here's an activation for you. You're the second one to have just got this activation. A few just did too, but all the other signs so far have not had an activation. So lucky you. Okay, so um, you haven't got the card there. So just put your left hand on your heart, okay, and whisper the following. I call forth the soul gifts and soul training that I've received throughout all of my lifetimes. I am ready to embody them all now. Without hesitation or fear. I fully commit to being here now. I, I'm ready to step into my soul's highest and most potent calling. I've been training for this for lifetimes. Okay, Sagittarius. I love that. Should we do that again? Eh? We'll do it one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And make sure you come back and do this every day, right? Because this is something that over the next, you know, however many weeks, it's going to help you. Okay, so let's do it again. I call forth the soul gifts and soul training that I've received throughout all of my lifetimes. I'm ready to embody them all now without hesitation or fear. I fully commit to being here now. I'm ready to step into my soul's highest and most potent calling. I've been training for this for lifetimes. Awesome. Okay, Sagittarius, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.